Hey guys, it's Whitey42 and welcome back to some more Super Mario Bros. 3 on the GBA or Super Mario Advance 4. If you're wondering why I'm not uh yeah, if I'm if you're wondering why I'm not really feel if I sound a bit bad it's cuz I'm a little my throat is a bit sore but how could I miss a chance f on uh, filming for you guys? Besides, this is World Eight. We're gonna we're gonna save Princess Peach. Now, let me just say something. I hate this world. Not because of the levels. Well, only some of the levels, but mostly because of the final castle. And I can't really give away spoilers for that, because there's two reasons for that. One, this is sorta past 1988, and uh, two, it's sorta typical to have to have Bowser with a final castle. And watch out for that big uh, thing that, even though it looks intimidating, it's actually not that bad. Um. So yeah, there's no power-up items over here. Now, World 8's a bit different. There's no level- well, there are levels, only like two, but there's usually just airships and these battleships things that rove around on land. And I'm using my headset, awesome. Oh, and you guys don't really need to see that. Because <laughs> you don't really unlock that without the castle. Look. All right. So, uh, as you can see, I'm using the replay feature a lot. So, if you're wondering why this is late, uh, for the first day, it was because um, I had I couldn't commentate because I had um, family over, and I'd spent time with them. Uh, the second, and we stayed up late at night. Um, not, well, not too too late, but um, there is that chocolate milk that we're riding on. I like chocolate milk. Shut up, cheese. Um, and second reason for the next day is because I was feeling sick. And yeah. I just, like I had a headache as well as a sore throat, which sucked. Um, I still have my sore throat. It's sort of a bug that we've had in the family um, for a couple weeks now. For a couple weeks now, yeah. Um, in World Date, never expect to have hidden item boxes at the end of these things, and. For once, I, f I remembered these things' names. Boom Booms. Yeah. Boom Booms. So, yeah, this doesn't... Just because I didn't upload it the day, the day it was supposed to schedule on. Um, yeah. It doesn't mean that the video game marathon is broken forever. Um... Let me just tell you something. The sore throat doesn't affect my um how I speak. It's just whenever I swallow. Yeah, there's a power up there. Um, by the way, if you're playing this for the first time, um, these weird-looking level things, like those weird panels, will actually let you can't you can't decide if you want to go in them. A uh, white hand will pull you into the level. Sort of disturbing, but... Yeah. Um... These first two ones, I don't mind. They're actually pretty nice. I mean, since you get a raccoon leaf at the end of them. And plus, then easy. Yeah. Oh, but the last one isn't so easy. Unless you have skill and you have a raccoon leaf that... Um, you got from these the previous two. Um, but yeah. So, the last one is annoying only because 
uh, if you wonder if why I've had so many stars during the series, that's because I beat the game and I kept going to Hammer Brothers and getting stars. But this is why. See those cheap cheeps? Yeah, they're really cheap. That is sort of ironic for this game. Um, ooh, double hit congo combo. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have the Raccoon Leaf, that level is going to be hard. But yeah, there goes that level. And now, we have an airship. Not really, it's basically just a floating abyss. But, um, you gotta, it, this is faster than the normal auto-scrolling levels. So, you, you gotta be, you gotta be fast-paced, you gotta go fast, gotta go fast, okay. Um, but yeah, you do have to be quick. Um, although for me, it, since I'm a Sonic fan, and I've, and if you're a Sonic fan as well, this won't really seem that bad to you. But the good thing is that the level doesn't shake. You know how in the normal ones where it has that slow drifting effect? So those bones that those Monty Moles throw, um, won't, uh, go up and down, up and down. So yeah, uh, just a boom boom in here. Hey, check out that cobweb in the background. That's a bit, that's huge for a cobweb. Um, look, it's huge. Anyway, level cleared. Now we go down the pipe to enter the black abyss. Yeah. We enter this black area with skulls everywhere. Um, okay. This first level, I don't really like that much. Um, I would adv if you want, I would use P-Wings on these levels. But, um, I don't, because in case you don't have a P-Wing for some odd reason, um, I'm here to show you how to get, how to do it. Um, so anyway, you want to get that star there. But I don't get the background for this level, because I think it's, like, the only time in the game that you see this background. I don't recall seeing this background anywhere else in the game. Um, yeah, I just can't remember it. Uh, but this level isn't too bad, but, you know. Uh, if, if I were you, though, and you weren't that good, I would use a P-Wing and fly over this level. Oh, and if you're wondering what a P-Wing does for some odd reason, probably because I haven't used it, what it does, it's it's the recap that it's the raccoon leaf, except it lets you fly forever. Um, like your P meter is so high, and I can't say that without <coughs> chuckling. But um, yeah, this level I like it. I mean, sure, there's the sun. If you don't know about the secret, the angry evil sun. <laughs> Uh, there goes the solar system, but, um, you can come down here, it's the first sand pit. And you come up here, and I swear I get hit, no I don't. Um, what you do to jump over this is you've got to be running at full speed, and you don't need the recurring tail wag, and you go over. And, yeah, okay, so that's just a pipe. This leads you somewhere, I don't remember. Yeah, it just leads you here. Which is where we were before. That That's something they should have in more games, just to troll you. Uh, I hate this level. The only reason? It's a maze. Yeah. So just follow what I do. And a raccoon leaf is how you beat this maze. Um, so yeah, you gotta use those raccoon leaves that you got earlier. Well, you don't need to, but it just helps so much in this level. Um, so yeah, you come down here. And you gotta quickly avoid that flying... 
Looks a bit like a dotted, dented pancake. Or maybe a waffle, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this this is a giant maze. As you can see with all these doors. You'll eventually get it if you're just playing blind, but... But they're really generous with the power-ups in this level. There are, fi there are power up boxes all the time here. Uh, you gotta. I'm surprised I didn't get hit with this game's collision detection. Well, yeah. But. Alright, this part. Just run. Keep running. You will get hit. Probably by those, um, pancake dented things. But, yeah. And, of course, I get hit by that boo. But see in here, this is really generous, or so not with that thwomp, but just watch. See, you hit that box, that block, why'd I say box? I've offended the Mario universe. Uh, don't come down here, by the way. See, look, two power blocks on that screen, although one of them is just a coin, but, um, you gotta be careful with this thwomp. Just go charging at it and jump. Um, but see this P-switch? It opens this door. You get a power up. Go back in. Go back out. You get a fire flower. Look how generous World 8 is with this. Um, and if you're wondering, well, White D, how do we beat the level? I mean, seriously, White D, there's no, there's no eggs there, okay? So yeah, that's where you go, and this is the only coin block in the whole world. Not the whole world, the whole castle. Um, just keep traveling over this thing. You need to be ducking unless you're normal Mario, and face off with the boom boom on an escal on a conveyor belt. And look at Mario be pushed to that wall. Now the final castle, I had like 39 tries on it, or 30 something at least. It was so annoying. Um, yeah. But anyway, you come down here. You can see, you can see this no skull, no fire, no, no uh, hell here. But go to um. Go to this battleship, and I don't mind this one too, too much. You might think it's supposed to be the hardest since it's the second last level in the game. Oh, I hate this cannibal triple thing. Um, by the way, there's bomb 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 -bom explosions. See how it makes stars? Um. Even if you weren't caught in the explosion, if you go next to the explosion while the stars are still there, uh, you will get hit. So be aware of that. Um. Anyway, going through here, and boom! Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Um. So yeah, this isn't really as hard as the first one in this world. Yeah. So as you can see, I was still avoiding that explosion from the bomb because it would still hit you. And just go down the pipe and face off with Boom Boom. You expect like heaps of Hammer Brothers or something and a Boom Boom, but not it's just a Boom Boom. Ah, oh, Boom Boom. Sorry, that's the last time we'll see you in this game, unless you count something else but doesn't matter uh, this is the final castle it's the final castle okay I don't want to get copyrighted this part do not get hit by those lasers be running at full speed come up here and those things will pull you up now keep holding right when you go here now uh, on the second one of these uh, waffle things you stand close to the uh, you stand close to the uh, bricks. Uh, there's a one up in case you need it. Um, just follow the path I take. So I go up to the top and ooh, 
nice background. 16-bit games. <sighs> Classic. But, yeah, keep going up the top. Then, you want to come down here and see these two rotating pancakes. You want to jump over them and see the swamp. Let that go by and go down this thing and make sure you're holding right again. <laughs> I sound like some directory. And this is pretty straightforward. Um, but anyway, th only this first Bowser statue is a laser guy. Uh, power up block in case you need it. And this is where you have to dodge the flames. And look out for that as well. And as yes, you might be able to tell where these flames come from. Come into the store. Oh, maybe we just go into the store that's a bit ahead of me and... Yeah, and oh my goodness, it's Bowser. How did he jump from down there? How did he not get casualties? Who cares? So, in order to beat this boss, uh, in order to beat Bowser, you need to see these bricks. He'll break them. And see how there's a bottomless pit? You need him to keep breaking these bricks until he eventually falls down. So, avoid these... F uh, fireballs that he breeds. They're really annoying, believe me. Because if he jumps and he shoots one like that, you'll definitely get hit. Just an, a tip for avoiding that, don't jump when he does that. And... Oh, the stakes are really going high now. He's still going. And I can see that door, but he's not going to let me go in. And he's dead. That was the final boss. Yeah, I know, right? But anyway, I think I got it in tune with the thing. But anyway, door opens with many explosions. And we enter. If you beat this game for the first time, it'll have Princess Peach kissing Mario, but I was doing it on an old file. But anyway, that was Super Mario Bros. 3. World Wants the Grasslands. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I really hope you did. And I don't like that level much. Well, it's not as bad as the sun. But, um, no, I am not going to make fun of Japanese names because I think they're really nice actually um but seaside Toshihiko nice name and probably my favorite world big island and I like and uh, this brings back memories for some reason just the sky I remember calling the episode Wait, I thought this was the sky, and then I remember putting at the end of the episode some giant question mark thing with some suspense accents. But anyway, yeah, that has just been Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm amazed that we finished it. It's a short game. Well, um, well, for me it is, because I'm so good at it. Um, when you see the Super Mario Club, you know that it's about, about to end, but pipe maze. Mario, I would duck if I were you. And the weirdest name, listen to this. World 8, Bowser's Castle. I thought it was hell. Um, but anyway, set so all rights, including the copy copyrights of this game, da da da. Anyway, guys, that has been Super Mario Bros. 3. Hey guys, this has been YT42, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>